Hey guys, the Elder Millennial here, back with another video. In this one, well, because in the last video we talked about getting Switch installed on Botticera or Switch emulation with Yuzu installed, I wanted to take that a step further and talk about installing uh, mods, as there are a lot of games that are playable on Yuzu, uh, but really need uh, some mods enabled for performance reasons. And one way to get those is with the Yuzu, Yuzu Mod Downloader. So I just googled Yuzu Mod Downloader, and it's this first GitHub link. Looks like this. You're going to come in here and scroll down just a little bit till you get to Releases. Click on Releases. And you can just take the most recent one, this version 1.4.0.0. And just grab the Linux x64 version right here. Just download that. And I'm going to... Okay, once we've got it downloaded, it's right here. It's a zip file. I'm going to go ahead and extract it. And you get this file right here. So let's go ahead and copy it. And then punch in the name, slash slash, the name or address of, uh, your Botticera system. In this case, that's the IP address of my Steam Deck running Botticera right now. Uh, I actually went a little too far. Just go to, go to the share folder. And let me think about where I want to put this. We'll put it in system configs user. It doesn't really need to be in a particular place, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna put it in here. Then next uh, we're gonna SSH to the name or address of your Botticera system. Again, this is my Steam Deck. And we're going to go into the directory where we place that file. So it should be the latest entry in here. Yep. Yuzu Mod Downloader. So I'm going to make that executable with a chmod plus x. And yes, I know it's change mode, but everybody in the world is going to call it chmod. Uh, chmod plus x, Yuzu Mod Downloader. So now if we do an ls minus l, we've got the executable bit set on that file. So now I'm going to do a display. I'm not going to hit the enter key by mistake. I'm going to do a display equals colon zero. Yuzu. A dot and a forward slash Yuzu mod downloader. So now we need to switch over uh, to our Botocera system. Okay, that command we ran uh, launched the application on. Uh, our Steam Deck here. So all we have to do is click the big button at the bottom of that box uh, that says to download. And it'll take it just a minute. And it looks like there are mods available uh, for a few of my games. Three out of four of them. So what you'll do now is switch over uh, to like the file manager area. Uh, on a keyboard, this is normally uh, the F1 key. On your Steam Deck, it's going to be the... Uh, it's it's either the steam button 
on the like bottom left, or is the one on the opposite side in the same location? Uh, but it'll take you to right here. So go to Applications and go to Yuzu Config. So there's one for Yuzu and one for Yuzu Early Access. Uh, I'm basically just using Yuzu Mainline, so I'm going to open that up. Uh, the only thing, when using the Yuzu Mod Downloader, it downloads the mods for your games, for the ones that have them, but it also enables them by default, so you're going to want to come in here after running it, uh, and right-click on a game, and go to Properties. And these will be all the mods. So, some of these don't work uh, well with others, so you'll need to turn off... Uh, all of the ones that you don't want to have enabled. And this will be true for all of your games. And you can just here enable the ones that you want to keep. So that's entirely up to you. Uh, this can be a lot more of a pain if you have a bunch of games installed. I'm just turning them all off for now. I think that's all of them. I don't think there's any mods for Wonder. Nope. But yeah, you can you can go in here and enable or disable whichever ones you want. So let's say I want to disable Bloom, but nothing else for Metroid Dread. Okay, that's done. So I would just exit out of here. So that's one really quick way to get uh, a bunch of mods installed. Uh, but like I said, you are going to have to go into each game and disable the mods that you don't want. Uh, because some of them, like when you have conflicting screen size uh, mods, when one of them is like, this mod forces, you know, four, a 4-3 four ratio, and this one forces 16 by 9. If they're both enabled, your game's just going to, it's not going to start. And you're going to have trouble. So you, you need to turn them all off and then enable the ones that you want to keep. Uh, there is an option to open the mod data location. However, this does not uh, actually seem to work. Make a note of this number after the 0.x. Let's say we want to look at Metroid Dread and it's OX, oh, it's, it's uh, 01009 and it ends in C000. Back on our PC, since we've got that active SSH session going, uh, and we're in the user data system configs user folder. Now under the load directory. So that number that we looked at for Metroid Dread is this one. And inside are directories containing the mods. So user data system configs yuzu load and then the number, which is, I guess, a game ID that you can get from looking inside of Yuzu. Uh, like I said, this particular one is for my copy of uh, Metroid Dread. And in here is where your patches would go. Uh, not patches, uh, your mods.
So you can still download them manually and put them in if you don't want to deal with, uh, like you got a lot of games and you don't want to deal with turning off and disabling mods on all of them. You could just uh, go download the ones you want off of a website and then uh, just manually put them here or in the right place. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.